Um, basically, um, so I looked this up as this audio was playing just to get more information, and it looked like Cone said that he thought that the feud was over. He said, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what's going on between me and Javon Kinlaw, and this is a direct quote, by the way. Um, he said this on his YouTube channel. I just want to say that Javon and I met up today at the 49ers facility. We hashed it out. He said everything he wanted to say. I listened. We shook hands. We squashed it. It's over. What I want to say is I appreciate Javon Kinlaw for meeting me today and taking the time to tell me exactly how he felt. I respect him, and I deeply appreciate John Lynch for facilitating it. It was all in his office. It was his idea. It was a very grown-up thing that he did, and I am better for it. I hope we all feel that way anyway. It's squashed. It's over. It has a happy ending. Let's move on. However, unfortunately, someone might want to tell Grant that Kinlaw doesn't exactly see it that way. Oh, shit. Um, Kinlaw. So I was, gonna, I was gonna. I was gonna. I was getting ready to ask. Did this happen after that? After that little spiel there? Yeah, this is um after that audio. Okay. But then after Cone wrote that, said that on his YouTube channel, Kinlaw wrote this. I shook your hand for my organization. Nowhere was anything squashed. And you know that. Stop capping, dog. I ain't letting nothing go. I do this for the real ones. It's bigger than me. So, beef is not squashed. Well, what I gathered from what I gathered from that little audio, he's very upset at this Grant Cohen guy. Also, it sounded like Ken Law was eating, and also it sounded like his balls are a lot bigger than his. <laughs> yeah, he was eating. He was eating during that uh, uh that confrontation. Um, um, um. But CPG, you should go on his cone phone and and eat and start eating. It's basically a call and show. Being, um, 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 what's up, man? I'm a Panthers fan. Um, um. I just want to know what he said that angered uh, Kinlaw so much. I guess a lot I even... of, well, I guess a lot of, from if I were to guess, it was just uh, he was saying that like Kinlaw didn't have an effective season last year or whatever, and I guess Kinlaw took offense to that. Well, I'll say this. I'll say this much: Kinlaw is not the only 49ers player that Grant. Co- uh, uh, that Grand Cone got a reaction. Debo got a reaction. Uh, he got a reaction from Debo, Eric Armstead, and uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. So it looks like he's just not a very likable guy. He's yeah, not. it's a, it's a, it's a, it sounds it sounds like what Ken what uh, Javon Kenlaw there was saying. Like nobody fucks with you, bro. It sounds like that's pretty true. Yeah, but you know what? Good, but you know what? They're good for Javon Kenlaw because sometimes these media motherfuckers stay out of line and somebody needs to put them back in their place and they and they think that they're untouchable and that these players don't have feelings about it you know i mean don't don't go hurting him or anything like that don't get yourself suspended but hey man if you gotta if you gotta retaliate verbally you gotta retaliate verbally yeah exactly you can't get suspended for that it in a much, you already he, know said it in a could he have said it in a way that was more appropriate, that would have been better for the organization to pallet, I guess, but I I don't think that he was completely out of line for it. No, yeah, but look, no, no, but look, no, but look sometimes you, no, but look, sometimes you gotta be like that with them because you know, telling them politely to fuck off doesn't always work. Fair. But also at the same time, like if you would have said that at your job or anything like that. Like, do you think that your organization would like tolerate it? Probably not. Exactly. And That's I like, think that's again, I'm right. not against him. I'm not against him or like by any stretch of the means am I against him or anything like that. I'm just saying like I would have done it differently. His ball is really big. Man, just imagine. I'm Grant Cohn's probably like what a skinny white dude. 
Oh yeah, yeah he is. He yes. is. Yeah, Ken, Ken Law would have destroyed him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we're talking about a professional football player and a guy who just writes. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of that, what are you guys' thoughts of him begging somebody to hit him so he can retire a multi-million? Basically, what I mean is he wants to sue. Uh, He's embarrassed because Ken Law punked his ass. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. He's trying to... I wouldn't say he's trying to egg him on. I think he's trying to damage control by saying, I'm going to look yeah, like the better person. That's what person. I was going to say. He's trying to save face. He's trying to say that he would be the better person if Ken Law hit him. I mean, but is that really being the better person? No, nah, he's saying he'd sue the fuck out of him. Yeah, exactly. I sue you. Yeah, but he said that he would retire a multi-million saying that. Yeah, because he would sue him. You know the yeah, weird that's, Al that's, song? That's, that's how you, you do Even that, if Michael. you look at me funny. Right. Nobody? What? Y'all what? Y'all don't know that song? What the hell are you It's like about? the Weird Al song. I'll sue you. Even even if you look at me funny. What, is, what Weird Al song? I don't remember that? that song. What song hold is I'll, that in? Hold, I'll sue you. It was, I, I believe, it was on the album where he made fun of Red and Dirty. The White and Nerdy song is on that. Yeah, album. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard of that one, but not this. I'll sue you, shit. You're yeah, yeah, about. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play it anytime we bring up Ken Law. Now, I'll sue you. <laughs> well, Ken Law's not suing anybody. It's this reporter guy, and that's such and that's such a fucking pussy thing to say. It's like, oh, I want him to hit me because he's got millions of dollars and I'll be set for life. Fuck I'll put you. it in the group.